But going up against Eric Gordon, this game was said to be one of the premier oh, games no. of the... <laughs> what the f*** is on this boy's face? What the hell is on this boy's face? What is good, YouTube? We are back with another reaction video. Now, today we are reacting to that one time Michael Jordan watched his kids get torched by a future NBA player. Now, I do not know who this future NBA player was or is, but I'm really interested to find out and I really want to know how bad they torched Michael Jordan's child. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. That one time Michael Jordan watched his kids get torched by a future NBA player. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, man, I know it had to be a lot of pressure playing basketball as Michael Jordan's son. It's always been interesting to, I had to, play to go back else. and look at the high school rankings of some of the best NBA players today. ESPN's high school ranking archive goes all the way back Eat. to 2007, which just happens to be a stacked class of elite hoopers. Chandler Parsons was ranked 44th in the country. DeAndre Jordan oh, wow. was 25th. Some beardless kid named James Harden was 21st oh, wow. in the country. Blake Griffin was 18th. Derrick Rose was mm. the fifth best recruit in the country. And OJ Mayo was the third best recruit in that class. But ranked higher than all of those Hold players on, was see, a shooting. Let me see. Let me see. OJ Mayo, Derrick Rose. Bro, Derrick Rose should have been one. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody was. Killer like D Rose in high school, bro. He was dunking like he was in the NBA already. Out of Indiana, a six foot five, five star recruit with a silky smooth jumper, ranked second in the country by the name of Eric Gordon. Since 2007, Damn. he was drafted to the NBA, dropped 41 points on KD and the Thunder as a rookie, earned an NBA Six Man of the Year award, won an NBA three point contest, even know Eric and has Gordon been one of the most nice. consistent players in his 13 NBA seasons. In the NBA, Eric isn't great, but he's definitely not bad. Right, right, right. He's Solid. a good player. Solid role player. in high school, Eric Gordon was untouchable. Mr. Basketball of Indiana, first team All-American, and as a senior, had multiple 50-point games and we averaged with 30 you, points per game. Damn! 46% shooting from three. Damn! In fact, Eric was so good that he was given the nickname Air Gordon, resembling Michael Jordan oh. with his freakish athleticism while wearing the number 23. Of course. Bro, the things you learn every day. I had no idea. You know what? I take that, I take that back because everybody in the NBA was the best player on their high school team. But I didn't know EG was out here doing dirt. Dirty the nickname ideas. caused quite the spectacle when Eric Gordon faced off against Michael Jordan's kids on national Oh, television. both of them. In front of Michael Jordan himself. Michael's two sons, Jeffrey kids. Jordan, a senior at the time, and Marcus Jordan, a sophomore, had to face off in a packed gym against the kid who was drawing comparisons to their father. Oh. Now, Jeff and Marcus Jordan were actually a good high school duo. Jeff was a top 30 player in the state, and Marcus okay. was ranked top 50 in his class okay. in the entire country. The school they played for, Loyola Academy, was no slouch either. Okay. At the time, Loyola was ranked as the number one team in Illinois and ranked 22nd in the country. In fact, going into this game against Eric Gordon in North Central, Loyola Academy was absolutely... And to be honest, coming out of high school, Jordan wasn't like the best, the best. Well, you know Jordan was going to be Jordan. So, hey, they, you know, they could have been on the same track. You know what I mean? But clearly after this game, it was we clear they were every on the team they played. Held their first matchup of the season to just 33 points. Damn. Blowout, blowout, blowout. This team got within eight points of beating them. Nice. And then back to more blowouts. 20 wins, zero losses. Oh, wow. The best team in the state of Illinois. And a 20-game winning streak to show for it. Damn, their next opponent, North Central, and their superstar, Eric Gordon. The Jordan boys and their squad were actually the favorites in this matchup. But going up against Eric Gordon, this game was said to be one of the premier oh, games God. of the... <laughs> what the f*** is on this boy's face? The Jordan boys and their squad What the hell is on this boy's this face? Matchup. But going up against Eric Gordon, this game... What the hell is on this boy... What the hell is on this boy's face? Why they do this to him? Is that one of the... Yo, stop, bro. You gotta, bro. Come on. 
premier games of the entire remember, season, man. which is why it landed a spot on ESPN. Oh, they got to work on ESPN? Of thousands of people. Loyola Academy gets out to a hot start, sparked by an alley-oop from Marcus to Jeffrey. Loyola that Academy is one of the seven, just five minutes. The game was living up to the hype, and Jordan was loving it. And then our Gordon showed up. But live by MJ Loyola in its first nationally televised game this season. Oh. Air Jordan to Eric Air Gordon. Gordon. Gordon wears number 23. <sighs> and he knows how to ball. Ranked second in the ESPN. How much did he get them? North Central outscored Loyola 25-5 in the second quarter. Damn. We're smoking them. 39. Hold on. 39. Damn. 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 The fact that Jordan was in the crowd and he was playing against his sons on TV is why he did this. Damn, bro. Being a star, being a, a child of a star definitely makes that journey. I feel like will make your journey. I mean, okay, it can make it easier because you have access to a lot of but you have a target on your back that's crazy, bro. In front of Michael Jordan and company, Damn, Eric Gordon torch a your high 43 points on Michael's sides. Oh. Putting up 18 of his team's 20 points in just the first quarter oh. and getting Air Gordon chance in the process. For the majority of the game, Marcus and Jeff were guarding Gordon. Well, tried to guard Gordon. Wow. But were left helpless as Eric did an uncanny impersonation of their father every time he came down the court. In what some reporters call one of the most electric high school basketball performances ever aired on ESPN, Eric finished his onslaught with a dunk that was special order for Michael Jordan in the crowd. But if that wasn't bad enough, oh. a house or a laptop? Jeez. Which one do you think is worth more? Well, definitely not the house because it not only because of the hype around Eric Gordon and MJ's kids, this game drew one of the largest viewings of any high school basketball game ever aired on ESPN. Oh, hold on! They weren't even ranked. Basketball performances ever aired on ESPN. Loyola was ranked twenty-two. With a dunk that was special order for Michael Jordan and the crowd. And Eric Gordon but wasn't even if that right. wasn't bad enough, because well, of the right. hype around Eric Gordon and MJ's kids, this game drew one of the largest viewings oh. of any high school basketball game ever aired on. ESPN. Michael's sick. About two seconds away from throwing on a jersey, from up and subbing into the game himself. No, not eight points combined. Hold on, y'all see this? Game ever aired they, they had them looking Michael's bad, sick. bro. Bro, they had eight points combined, and this man had forty-three on seventeen and twenty-five. Whew. Almost four more seconds away from throwing on a jersey, lacing up, and subbing into the game himself. I bet he would. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> After the game, Eric was asked what it was like to drop 43 points in front of Michael Jordan. What did you do to play for like a minute? Well, I, I mean, it was great. I, I That's guess what so, I do. I, I was trying to show how I did. But it, it was really, I'd rather see my team win more than me. Uh, Scoring or That's the perfect or answer, cause right. boy, you know so damn well. You came to get a bucket. I'd say that Eric too. both put on a show and helped his team get the win. Stop playing. Since North Central beat Loyola Academy by forty-one points. Woo! Eric Gordon nearly outscored the entire Loyola roster by himself. That's in fact, crazy. in the 14 seasons since this game, Loyola Academy has lost 138 games. And of those 138 losses, the there has been a handful of blowouts. They've lost some games by 20 plus points, and they've lost a few games by 25 points or more. But not one loss in 14 seasons comes Damn, who was this team that was big beating that three times? Keep in mind, this them. was their best team in that 14 year Bruh. stretch. And Eric Gordon That's did crazy. This to them. And if that wasn't bad enough, ESPN went out of their way to create this heartless graphic to really drive their point home. Hold on. Was the 41 point blowout? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I take back everything I said. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I was 100% wrong. <laughs> I said Jordan wasn't that nice in high school. This says, this. This 
joint says Jordan averaged 29, 11, and 10 his senior year in high school. What? Not enough for y'all. Was the fact that they had to play the kid who was compared to their father? What the hell? Not enough cool. for y'all. You just had to assign some new guy in the bowels of ESPN Studio to make this graphic. But this Gordon Jordan story doesn't end there. In the same post-game interview, Eric Gordon was asked about Michael Jordan's All-American Classic, a game hosted by Jordan Brand to showcase the best high school talent in the country. Well, later that season, the Jordan Brand All-American team was announced, featuring the best high school players in the country. Players like Michael no Beasley, way he wasn't Blake Griffin, Jeffrey Jordan. <laughs> nothing to do with the last name. That's funny. J. Mayo and Eric Gordon. Okay. That same month, these All Americans played in the Jordan Classic. Okay. And take a wild guess at who led their team to a victory as the leading scorer. And not Eric Gordon. That's right. You can't make this stuff up. The kid who, a couple months earlier, spent 40 minutes torching MJ's kids for 43 points played. Hey, in bro, if you play a sport, you might get cooked. Man. Get Jay better. Watch this kid get busy. Not Give once, a damn who your parents are. in the same season. The first time against his own kids better, on ESPN, and the second in his very own game. So if this has taught us anything, it's that you can't mess with Michael Jordan and get away with it. But you can drop 43 on his kids on national television, still get invited to his All-American game, and live to tell the tale. Uh, uh, uh. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, until next time. I enjoyed I wish I would have seen more highlights of the actual game, but that's all right. He was clearly cooking that. <laughs> uh, it, it, <laughs> Outro time It's gonna be quick Not too much to say I like that video a lot That was very interesting I wish I would have seen A little more Of the highlights of Like Some of the plays He was actually making I saw him knocking down some threes But yeah I would say I would say I went into the video Hoping Hoping that I would really see The moves and stuff That he was making You know But a 40 piece, bro. He almost scored more than the whole team. I mean, it's not super surprising because he went to the NBA. Nine times out of ten, if they're in the NBA, it was the best player in the high school team. But the last thing I want to say before I forget, Jordan was nice in high school. That boy averaged a triple double his senior year 29, 10, and 10, or 11 and 10. Crazy. Don't ever say he couldn't pass. That's wild. But yeah, that's it for me, man. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for suggesting. But yeah, man, that's it for me. I'm out of here.